A hit? Okay. Hey, I was just gonna see when I should untie the front strap on the boat, like if Devin's backing me down the ramp. Like, should we already have that thing off? What's up guys, today Devin and I are taking out the boat for the first time, man. Just had to put a little gas in it. They filled it to about a half a tank when we got it. So we are at the quick trip and loading up the cooler. Anyways, it's gonna be her maiden voyage, the first launch. Let's go ahead and get to the spot. Turn the wheels to the right. You're right, yep, yep. You're good. <laughs> First time ever starting the boat up, man. Getting the garment unit situated. We are in the water, this is nuts. That was a little sketchy. So I guess everything's working because that thing's extracting the water like it says. Oh man, I'm pretty psyched. All right guys, boat is idling. This is the first ever launch. I'm gonna go ahead, Devin's parking right now. I'm gonna go pick her up. We're gonna see if I can handle that and then we're gonna get out here on the water and do some fishing, man. Pre-frontal conditions, first time we've ever had the boat out. This is cool. I gotta mix up this throttle though. Keep this engine revving in different uh, ranges through like 4,500 RPMs. And uh, we gotta get this thing broken in, boys. Let's do this, nuts. Neutral. Did you already kind of check the trolling it was, it was working. It might be more comfortable for us to go hit those sides because the wind's not going to be hitting us as much. The main thing is, I don't know where it shows like battery percentage and stuff. I kind of like the way that looks better. It's not bass. And it's little sh shad light colors. All right. Yeah, this might do it if there's no grass in my way. Oh, got him. Smoked him. All right. Come on, first fish in the boat. Come on, first fish in the boat. Crankbaits, babe. Crankbaits. Yeah. First fish in the boat. Oh. No way, they're little, going after those little fish. They're smacking them. Oh man, whoo. First bass on the new bass boat, man. What a reward. I know it's not a giant. We're gonna catch them, we're gonna catch them. I think we just identified what is gonna do the trick, man. Crankbaits or some chatterbaits, uh, swim jigs through these pads. I mean, it's gonna be, I think it's about to be a feast in here. We literally just saw a couple, I don't know if it was bass, I assume, just bursting at the surface on these little minnows, lighter in color. So I was thinking shad colors. Boom, second cast I wanna say. I bet you we need to hang out right here. Let's go ahead and get him in the water and try for some bigs, man. All right guys, we are getting back into position and after that first catch, Devin is working us on the trolling motor. I want to show you Pace, a couple baits that I think might work now given these conditions. This is very similar to the bait we just caught on. Uh, we were throwing the Guggen Squad banger. This is one of the Carl's bait and tackle cranks. And then we've got a white chatter bait. This could work very well since it's you know slightly stained, just a little bit more noise, uh, a little bit more disturbance in the water from that blade. A lipless crankbait. This one you can kind of control the depth and stay a little bit higher, avoid some of the grass maybe, uh, aside from that square bill that we were just throwing. Same goes for the baby bull shad. This style swim bait right here. This guy will probably stay closer to the surface. These two may be the top options, but we're gonna figure it out. And then this is a larger swim bait that uh, Jared had sent us from down in Austin. This is the S Song 115 Gancraft. This guy's supposed to tear it up, so I might tie him on in a little bit if we can get some more bites on the smaller stuff. Just want to get a couple numbers in the boat right now. Let's get it. Might have got lucky with that little guy. Uh, I just saw one bump jump over there, I think. You just saw what? I think as soon as I turned, I saw one jump. I don't know if that was a little wave. We'll go hit these weeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my I Texas rig. <laughs> now I want to get into the pads. Oh, 
guy. Oh god, come out of the hat. Keep that tight, as you real, keep it tight. He's on, but he's in the pads. I don't know. I I don't feel him. You don't feel him? I don't feel him. You don't feel him at all? Keep it tight. No more head shakes, huh? Got him? I don't know, I'm so in those lily pads. You need to just you need to just grab that line and yank it, I guess. Maybe he got off. I bet you he got off. I don't know. Yeah. No, he's there. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no wonder you didn't feel him. <laughs> this is a crap. Oh. This is not a good first fish on Dude. the boat for me. What? <laughs> Guys, look at my first fish on the boat. I might have to even just put him in the live well. <laughs> If we, we had do a, need to test out the live well. <laughs> no kidding. If we had a fish tank, we'd take him back home. No Look kidding. how fat he is, though. He's fat. Look how fat Look, he is. Look, he's eating up in there. That was God. the craziest catch. Like, I for sure didn't think that that fish was still on. And then, sure enough, we get close enough, and this little dude pops out. But they're hitting all around us. So, I don't want to give it away because all these other boaters are around us. But anyways, we're going to get back in the water. Okay guys, so Devin just got that fish with some chartreuse dipping glow garlic sauce on the tail of her bandito bug. And uh, y'all have really never seen us talk about this. We haven't used it much, but of course we go out with people all the time who are rocking this stuff. So uh, I'm gonna dab a little bit on the pinchers of this trench hog, and you don't wanna get this stuff on your boat deck. So I'm just going to dip a little bit, and I'm gonna leave that sitting over the boat while I am very careful. And uh, you know what, I'm just gonna drop the trench hog in the water real quick, boom. I'm gonna let him rest on a lily pad. And I'm going to put this top on here. You do not want to get this on anything except for your baits. That is what I hear. And it smells pretty luscious, I gotta tell you that. I think we should hit some reeds. Just made a little bit of a move, folks. We're going to try and hit some of these reeds in here, get a little bit closer to them at least. These look pretty good, man. A little something different. There we go. All right, good move. See, he's got a cool pattern too. Check him out. Nice looking lateral line. Looks like he's been munched a little bit. He thought it was his time to uh, do the munching. Check this out. Guys, that was on the, that was on the baby hog. Matter of time until this gets a gigantic fish with the fact that we are now on a boat fishing some big waters. Let's get back in here. Still figuring out the whole pitching thing. Oh, got him! Oh. Oh. Come on, get out! Get out! <laughs> this was the move. That's get the out. biggest one. That's the biggest oh, one. Okay, okay. That was in there, in there, in there. That was way in there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, all these fish, look at these guys, they're all getting munched. Good old top of the mouth hook set. He was hooked. You were not getting unhooked. Possibly the biggest fish on the boat so far. Good little chunky belly on that guy. Second fish on the boat for me. Boat for me. I think we're tied two and two, or do I have two? No, you have three. I have three? Good deal. Feeling good. Getting this lake figured out a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and get him in the water. There's more fish to be caught. Catch you later. All right guys, we are gonna have to call with just a few fish in the boat on our first time out. It looks like there is a bad storm coming the wind just started picking up we have got to hit the ramp everyone is making their way to it right now we got to get this thing covered and get back to the house i got to work on editing on the way home for our one a day uploads i have my airpod in so you can talk to me on speaker slow and steady come on turn it to the left i'd say 
that wind's gonna blow you, so turn it to the left. Oh boy. You're gonna need to come you're gonna need to come in with a little speed and put in neutral. A little more speed, otherwise you might get blown. You're gonna get blown to the right fast. Yep. Nice. You're gonna be off center a little bit, maybe. Might be off center. Uh oh, that's too far to the left. Oh shit. Nope. You need to back it off a little back it up a little bit. Now give it a little juice forwards. Come on. Straight. Yep. Come on straight to the left. Yep, left a little, left a little, left a little, left a little, left a little. Nope, you you weren't left enough. Nope, back it up. Nope, back it. Somebody's got to be right here to do this. Go ahead and back it up. You got it. You got it. Back it up. You got it. Back it up. You're good. Here we go. Come on, forwards. Come on, forward. Yeah, there we go. Forwards and to the right. Forwards and to the right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little juice, little juice, little juice. Juice, juice, juice. Juice, juice, juice. Juice, 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 juice. Good. <laughs> What's up? A hit? Okay. Today, you guys, let me tell you about what happened at the ramp when we got the boat out the water. All right, y'all, so uh, the storm was coming in hot yesterday. Y'all could probably see by those final shots there. And everyone was racing to the ramp, and of course, we're not trying to like get in front of a lot of people and uh, take our sweet time not knowing what to do. So Devin and I come up with the executive decision. She's gonna drive the boat, and I am going to uh, go and grab the truck, back up the trailer, and she's gonna just smoothly cruise up onto it. Well, lo and behold, we had a couple issues. She had to realign herself a few times. It was like on the third time she lined up with the trailer just right, and it wasn't her fault. It was like, it was very windy, and it was going just to the side of the boat, like pushing her over. It was a uh, disastrous scenario for a first-time boater and rookies such as ourselves, but we got it on the trailer. We uh, cranked her down, and I'm like, all right, good to go. Well, Devin had turned off the motor, but she had forgot to trim the motor up, which we'll showcase here in just a second you want to have your motor trimmed up uh, when launching and retrieving the boat. Well, we did have it up upon launch. So I started to pull forward, and y'all probably heard the scrape in the beginning of the video. Let's just say we took a little bit off of our skeg, skag, whatever you call it. It's it's spelt a different way than it's pronounced half the time I talk to people. But anyways, she's, uh, she's a little chipped up down here, and it's a few hundred dollar repair from what I hear. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let me go ahead and unlatch her. We're going to trim her up so you guys can see the damage. This should just take a second. We got the battery charging, guys. After we got off the water yesterday, the unit that we're in has power, and we put it on a full 12-hour cycle to charge the batteries. And you can see in here, they're actually all green. Our two main batteries and our one trolling motor battery all have green lights. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the boat. This charging cable tucks away nicely right here. We will close that. Let's trim this motor up. All right, so as you will see, we gave it a little bit of a buzz cut. We took a little off the top. I don't know if y'all noticed this chip right here on the end, but uh, yeah, we knocked that clean off. And it's not like we took too much off. I wanna say we've got plenty uh, to get the job done. But uh, <laughs> needless to say, it was not a perfect first time out. Uh, the prop is in great shape. Nothing hit, the, the, prop is, the prop is flawless. But we did get a little bit of this guy right here. We need to kind of file it down if you're worried about aesthetics, I suppose. But um, this is probably not something that we're going to take care of right away just because I don't think it's enough damage and we might wait till something like this happens a second time. You know, the guy that we purchased it from out in Louisiana, we gave him a shout, our sales guy, Eddie, and he said, it doesn't look like you took much off. We hardly get a boat in the shop that doesn't have a messed up skeg, skag, again, whatever you call it. And uh, so it doesn't look like you did much damage. So we're going to just leave her as is. Uh, and not foot that bill just yet. So anyways guys, we just want to thank you for joining us on our first outing. The good news is Devin and I did not get skunked. No, we didn't catch any giants, and yes, we were just figuring them out, but we're going to have to go hit that place again sometime soon, as well as many others, and catch some gigantic fish for you guys. We really hope you enjoy the boat content and get ready for plenty more. We've got a fair list of modifications coming up on this bad boy very soon, y'all. You're not going to want to miss out. So until then, y'all, video a day. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. <gasps>